Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski, it's Friday evening and well, I'm puzzled because I got a package. You see, it's a black package somewhere from China, at least those letters suggest so, and I have no bloody idea what can be inside of the package. I know, there is a picture over here of something that resembles a tank, but with those kind of packages you can never really be 100% sure what can be inside. So, let's try to open it. Hmm. You see? I was 100% correct. They lied to me. It's not this thing. Those are only some parts and, uh, well, let's see what I will be able to do about it. Maybe I will just call their customer support and tell them, well, this is not what I'm supposed to get. Come on, not the same. Hello, DF Robot customer support? Yes, hi, this is Paweł Spychalski and, well, you were supposed to send me a package with the tank, some kind of tracked vehicles, but instead I just got uh, plenty of parts and I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay, okay. Thanks a lot. Bye. Okay. I know what's wrong. I'm supposed to assemble this thing. Ah. And only a few hours later, the DF Robot Devastator is done. Da da! No, of course, it was just a joke. I never expected this thing to come assembled. I knew I will have to assemble this thing and put some of the elements because, for example, you get the drivetrain, you get the motors, you get the gearbox, but you do not get the electronics, you do not get the ESCs uh, brushed. ESCs, of course, so everything had to be assembled by me. I wanted to have something more than just the, well, let's say a regular remote control tank, so I made a few extra things for this thing. First of all, it's the FPV tank. Ta and you see this turret over here? It has the video transmitter, it has the camera, and on front, also here, it has the rangefinder. To be able to measure how far I am, for example, for a walk. And it's just an example usage of this thing. It has the GPS, it has the receiver. Uh, in the back, it holds pretty nice 4S battery, although they said that the electronics is fine for 2S, but turns out the motors work perfectly fine with the 4S battery. And because this thing is running INAV and the Matek F765 5 controller, it has a lot of possibilities, starting from the going off-road, FPV, long-range missions, uh, return to home, and so on, and so on, and so on. I really do expect I will have quite a lot of fun with this thing riding into the places where my previous generation of the rover was not able. And finally, I would like to put this thing on the quite a longish, at least the reasonably longish, fully autonomous mission. But does it work? Does it ride? Can you use this thing in the field? Let's find out.
You see the angry face on the Devastator, right? So, that is the DF Robot Devastator. And at least my take on the DF Robot Devastator, which I turn from the chassis only, because let's be honest, the Devastator con comes only with the wheels, only with the tracks and only with some metal, and motors with the gearbox, but absolutely without any electronics that turn this thing into the pretty cool off-road device. Um, so you do have to add some things to the, to the project. I added the INAV-based flight controller with the FPV installation with the GPS, with the receiver and uh, other goodies that uh, basically allows me to run the autonomous mission of this thing. I can create the waypoint mission with the INAV configurator, click start and it will go whenever it wants to go and it's amazing. By the way, I have a separate video on how to set up uh, INAV on the wait, on the tracked vehicles and the link is in the description. So if you are wondering how to do it, the link is over there. After all, it's a super cool chassis for the tank. Uh, this angry face in the in the in the front of this thing, uh, everybody in my family and everybody I show this thing to. Oh, it's so cool! It has the angry face in the beginning, and if you know what you are doing and you own the 3D print 3D printer, you can really make amazing stuff with this thing. Is it perfect though? No, it's not perfect though. I kinda hoped that the tracks will have slightly more traction and the off-road capabilities will be slightly slightly bigger than they are don't get me wrong it's better than most of the wheeled rovers because after all those are tracks and they have quite a lot of the traction however going 45 degrees on the sand no uh, definitely no just the sand and goes under and it just goes down also you have to be pretty careful where you place the battery because uh, in my build I only had the bad place for the battery in the rear and that basically put the center of the gravity somewhere here so as soon as I was starting to climb and uh, applied any torque on the tracks it was just going have you, you ever watched cars yeah when they were scaring the tractors and they were, exactly the same thing was happening with the devastator also the how you disassemble this thing is not that cool uh, because the bottom plate is held in place by only one screw and if you and the structural integrity is actually held in place by the top cover if you move the remove the top covers the the side plates are moving left and right nothing is really holding them in place i would prefer rather that the bottom plate is something that keeps the structural integrity and the top plate is only a top plate but if you are ready to live with that and that's not really too much to be honest uh the world is your oyster really i i have plans with this thing to go places where previously i was not able to go to drive at night because i have the night uh, vision a camera that is capable of seeing in the night and the laser range finder in the front fpv installation and all the goodies so most probably you will see more of the df robot devastator on this channel yeah because i'm i'm happy what i what i have over here and my kids are whoa can daddy daddy can i drive the can i drive the tank yes you can drive the tank of course and they are even managed to do it so cool product um i think the price to be honest is fair um some things can be improved or find final thing the original tracks were one link too long and they were falling i had to remove the one link from each of the tracks to improve the uh, tension on it and uh, make it not fall from the devastator at all but besides that Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, I got it for free. I do like it. Um, something else. I got it for free, but not everything. I still had I still had to invest quite a lot of stuff into this project. So thank you very much for watching and until the next one. Bye bye.